with the Jane Dar war over, our Basilisa had the time to consider her options. The diplomatic situation left Albania and the Ottomans are her potential next targets. But time would tell where her troops would march next. She informed the consul to be ready to meet on short notice if needed. Hello everyone, and this is Imperial Suvlaki. Welcome back to the next episode of the Byzantium series. So now that we've taken Kastamonu, we're just going to be coring that province for a while. And we're going to take a look at what diplomatic opportunities come up. We're probably going to have to fight a bunch of rebels as well. So it's just going to be the usual consolidation for the next little bit. So I'm not going to bore you with all of this. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward through until something exciting pops up. And when that does, then we'll go back to our regular Let's Play. Uh, just a little event here, Cossack Aggression. But anyways, I'm going to start fast forwarding. So I'll see you guys shortly. Venice, okay, Venice is attacking the Ottomans, alright, so they're probably going to go for the coast, alright, this is big, so we're likely going to need to get involved, but I need to talk to my advisors first, yeah, I'm going to need to talk to them first, just to figure out the game plan, but this is big, alright, so I'll be right back again, see you soon. Upon hearing news that Venice had declared war on the Ottomans, Constantina rushed to knock on Nikiforis's chamber door personally. He opened surprised, but his face turned serious upon hearing the news. He went to get Romanus, and all three met in the war room. Nikiforis spoke first. This invasion by Venice is a shock indeed. I would not have expected such a bold move by even those gold-gray swine. They must be looking to establish themselves on the coast. We cannot let this happen. It would strengthen the Venetians and slow down our expansion in Anatolia. My lord, we must act swiftly. Romanos is right in saying our expansion will be slowed considerably. We must attack the Ottomans right now. Order the troops to occupy the coast and deny the Venetians the possibility of getting their foot in Anatolia. It is always a pleasure meeting with you both, but we have no time to waste. My lord, we must act now. Constantina agreed. She sent Nikiforos to go inform the generals to have the men ready to march that evening. And we're back. So we're going to war. And it's simple as that. I mean, it's way too important that we have to make sure that we secure the coast. If Venice gets their hands on the coast, it's going to delay our entry into Anatolia by a long time. I know that we want to hit Venice, but they're going to get significantly stronger. We're going to have to take way more provinces. And it's just going to be very time consuming. Plus, it's going to strengthen them. And we really do not want that. We really don't. So off to war. I'll just move our troops here to Karasi. We're just going to take loans because no time to really get too many, uh, too much money. We're going to just get these, these mercs here so we can just rush them over to these provinces here. I'll be going to take down Sugla. And there we go. Declaration of War. Simple as that. Right, we're just going to try to save a little bit of money here by mothballing the forts. And we're rushing right to the fort. And once... Oh, man, that was close. 
Okay. I didn't think that they were right there. Good thing we didn't fight. Anyways, once our mercenaries are created here, we're going to run them over to the neighboring provinces. And this way we secure the coast. So it doesn't matter if Venice gets to inland provinces after that. Because they won't be able to core it. Okay, we're just going to block the strait as well. Oh man, like, and I was honestly just eyeing up the Ottomans to see, like, if it was possible to go to war with them, if it'd be a good time. And then this happened, and it just kind of moved our hand. Man. I mean, the timing isn't ideal. Okay, move him to Shadowhan. Siege of Sinop is over. Okay, well, they, they got that. Big deal. Actually, no, that's a fort. Interesting. I guess they just didn't have time to... Uh, time for the men to take the walls, positions on the walls. They just kind of marched in. Alright. So let's hope that they don't start running back now that we're at low maintenance. Well, it looks like they're actually doing that with running back now that we're at low maintenance. I... We're gonna lose this one, this 1k guy. All right, this is not looking so great here in the beginning. I've never wanted Venetians to land so much in my life. I want them to land just so they can fight the Ottomans for us. But we need to support those troops. Man, everybody has to be together. Oh, they're just gonna sit in Huda. Well, we're just gonna keep doing our thing here and making sure that we get all of these surrounding provinces. They can do what they want over there. Oh, but are they coming for us now? I hope not. I really hope not. Just see what they're doing. Where they're going. Okay. One province down. Mentesha seems to be their fort. Their capital. Okay, it's their capital. So we need a couple more men. But that's fine. So we're going to keep our guy there. Just in case Venetians land. We'll be the person starting the siege. Ottomans are at war. Oh, not the Ottomans, the Austrians. Okay. Everybody's joining the party. Everyone hates the Ottomans. It's actually hilarious. Okay. Great. So one other province. Now for Denzile. So we're sitting in Teke. Okay. Okay. Get skill 2. 50 dip power. 50 dip power. It's gonna be a battle here. I, I right, we got two. All right, we're gonna have to fight. Oh my God! There's Venetians there. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Fuck me. Okay. Fuck me sideways. I fucked up. I did not know the Venetians landed on Sula. Oh my god. Slap me in my own face. Fuck. Well. 
Not much I can do about that right now. How did I do this? How? Like, I know how. Uh, I'm an idiot. That's how I did it. We're not even going to make it there in time to save that, that unit. And the knights are just going to run right back in. Austria. I want you to fight. I want you to take provinces. Oh my god. Just need to think. Honestly, there's not much I could do about that. I really screwed up with Sugla. And that's an important place because there's a fort. And it connects to Sio. Shame on me, man. Shame on me for doing dumb things. Alright, run, 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 run. Don't lose the units. Come on. Oh. I didn't expect it to be that fast. Okay. Buy ornaments. Venice. I can't get over that. I really can't. If you could only see my face right now. Whatever. Not much we could do. We're just going to keep conquering these provinces. Move them over. Try to get what we can. We'll at least be the ones to siege Mantisha down. I mean, we wouldn't get a fort out of it. But, uh... Okay, so Sugla is actually going to the knights. Not very surprising, actually. If they're allies, then... That's, that's their claim. Let's get to each other. We'll get that for it at least. We won't screw that up and uh, run away while the Italians are sitting there. And Venice. My my hate for Venice. As a, like, Byzantophile? Is that the word? Friend of Byzantium? Fan of Byzantium? Maybe just Greek. That's the best way to put it. They sack Constantinople. I'd give them Subla. Great. Great reward for it. That's what I get. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Jeez. Okay. Let's see how long it's going to take for each other. Good to see that Ottoman troops are getting killed. Alright, we're gonna try to save on our sailors here. Move these over. Yeah, I'm just gonna move them over here. They'll help out with the siege. And we'll save on manpower. Move these guys to Ankara. We'll just stand there. And then whoever comes to support us, that'll be it. It'll be our siege. We need to make sure that we take those those forts. Otherwise, we're not getting any war score. But the problem is that there's Ottomans standing around there. So I am slightly scared to stand there. Oh, but Noxus is right there too. what to do. Okay, I see a bunch of Austrians coming in. This is a good and bad, and a bunch of Venetians. You know, it's a bad day to be the Ottomans. Ragusa, why? You know, it's a bad day to be the Ottomans. Getting carved up by everybody. It's becoming a trend, actually, ever since that first war. Everybody wants a piece of the Ottomans. Bulgaria carved up. The Mamluks carving them up. We were carving them up together with the Mamluks. They're no longer the powerhouse that they used to be. Like, look what they've become. And I love seeing it this way. I don't love seeing 
the knights' color on Sugla. I like seeing them being destroyed. Oh man, they got that siege on Ankara. But I didn't want to risk losing all of our troops. I didn't know where the Ottoman army was. And that's it. But at least we're going to get a chill and we're going to get the capital. So we're going to have a decent war score anyways. I just want to get the coastal provinces like Bolu. Let's see if Gazi will... No, Gazi won't peace out. That's very unfortunate. We're not going to forget about St. Michael. Yeah, it says that we did, but we'll fix that soon enough. Alright, they're in Trebizond. So Gazi's marching over. Gazi's actually in Crimea. Hmm. Alright, so we get Bolu, we get Mentesha, we get Shell. They can't core anything there, so they won't be able to core Karaman, Hamid, Kutahia, or whatever that's pronounced as. They can't core any of that. They'll get Sugla, of course. But we'll have locked them in, unless they make some kind of line all the way to Chudnik. But I doubt it. Hmm. Okay. Now about that Ottoman army in Trebizond. Like I can't really move anybody right now. I need to make sure that I, we get those sieges. And then afterwards. We can go and deal with. Those guys in Trebizond. Alright. So what we'll do though. I'm going to keep that guys there and split these guys up to get more occupations for us. What the hell? Why does Asin use the ship? Oh my god, really? See, I don't get that. The fort is in his shell, so that means he can't march to Askarai? Or Aksarai? Okay, great, we got volume. Let's get... Oh, we can't, we need to get soon up. Oh. Great. Just great. And they marched right through soon up. We declared war, they rushed for it. They got there. The men on the walls didn't even get a chance to reinforce it's like the fall of Constantinople it's like oh we left the Kirkoporta open let's uh, just walk on in hey everybody this fortress is Turkish now problems see what would be great is if those Austrians you know, all just ran right to Trebizond and killed those those Ottomans. It'd be fantastic. I doubt that it would ever happen. Also annoying that uh, Genoa would give Gazi military access. I mean, they hate us, so I'm not surprised. Just annoying. Very annoying. Can we get the Chanik? Nope. I have to use that ship business again. And I don't want to. I don't want to naval land in Chanik because it's right next to Trebizond, and they can just move on over and kill us. And with the, the naval assault, not great. Hmm. Yeah, good thing is that we have walls breaching the gel. This is a work in progress. 
But it shows a big one. And I'm so glad the Malmuks didn't take it. Oh, so we're going to go back into debt. That's what that said. Into more debt. So the capital should be safe. There's so many Austrians and Hungarians just hanging around there. Right, let's get these three all together. We're going to leave some ships here. And we're going to take the cogs. Need more. That should be good. We're going to take the cogs and we're actually going to just drop these guys over in Sinop. We we'll just have food, sto uh, food shortage. I almost said storage in Trebizond. It's like, oh yeah, food storage. No problem. Extra food. Alright, we want to get to... Not sure why it wasn't working. Can Alright, let's just get on there that way. And then we'll manually... See to sell. Alright, perfect. Now can we walk... To... These provinces without having to take a ship? I think we can. I think we can. Right, this is still taking a little while. Let's get these guys all together. Shop is going to Castamono. We're going to liberate that piece of land and then move over into Sinop. Hungary scared away the. Gazimukwuk, or whatever the hell it is, in Crimea. Fifty dipar or more, not a problem. And military axis. They're at war with France, sure. Okay, angry hamburgers. Thirty-seven percent. Let's make you happy again. Make the burgers great again. There you go. Are you happy now? Yes, you are. Perfect. Now for these troops. Looks like Ankara will fall. Beautiful loans. Just how I like it. Okay, galleys, we're going to move you over there too. Because we're going to be sieging Sinop soon, so we're going to need those ships to speed that process up. So that's one. We're going to move like, the majority of the guys over to Bolu. Because when we go into Sinop, we're going to need to have our big stack there just in case. The Ottomans from Trebizond march on over. Okay, perfect. Just move these over. Set that siege. Screw Genoa. Let's just wait on that. Um, underhanded rogues in Venice. Rogues they are indeed. Let's fabricate our claims. Up in Crimea. Eventually we'll come for you, Genoa, and eventually. Let's do both fair game.
Kaiser. The Shell Gloom, to have power. Okay. We are losing cash fairly quickly. Okay, so it seems like it's going to take a little while for Ankara to fall. And we're going to likely fast forward a little bit here so it's not so boring for you guys. And we'll bring it back to normal speed when it gets a little more exciting. So we'll be right back. Okay, so the Ottomans are fully occupied, which is great. It's actually really hilarious, because if you're looking at their army, they are kind of just playing this dance. They're running away. They don't want to be attacked by the, by the Austrians. So they're doing this dance between Circassia Gazimukuk and Golden Horde. Yeah, we had some, not Byzantine, separatists. Wow. We had some Bulgarian separatists kind of just running around in Bulgaria. We didn't get a chance to go and fight them yet. So we're going to do that now. I just find it so funny. The, the Ottoman troops are literally like, all right, well, we're army in exile. There they are on vacation. Just saying, screw this. I'm not dealing with this shit show that is Turkey right now or the Ottoman Empire, we're just chilling on Circassia, and when these uh, these Austrians catch up to us, the, oh, the Austrians are catching up to them right now. Or not? Did they get stack wiped? Something happened. Anyways. Oh, that's it. Goodbye, Ottomans there. That's for Venice. I wonder when they're going to peace out. Just because... You know, we have decent war score, but I want more war score. I want us to siege Ankara. Alright, we're gonna kill these Bulgarians here. Bulgarians 
Basil the Bulgar Slayer sponsoring this battle. Except those Blinded Bulgarians will not need to march back to Sofia because they're already there. Let's just go liberate Tarnovo and all will be well in the world. Now the Turks in Crimea. Oh, the Turks are running from Crimea. Why is that? Interesting. Tons of Austrians, though. I wonder if they're gonna help us out here with our occupied regions of Imereti. Uh, we have separatists getting ready to, to rise up. You know, we've been at war for a long time. I'm not surprised that we're getting separatists. Now, I just hope the Venetians peace out soon. So we can just get our occupations and we get enough war score and then we can peace out. Because our war exhaustion is going to start to tick. And being at war just means they're going to get more rebels. And that's just a waste of time, money, manpower, everything. And they peaced out. And the knights caught Sugla. Okay, let's rush everybody back to those provinces, start occupying that. This guy's in Gangiri. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Liberate Tarnavo so that we can go to Ankara. Also, there's Gazi guys in Nichelle. Alright, perfect. Send them up to Kutnyaha there since it's the closest. Oh, that fort in Ankara just liberated all the provinces around it. I didn't think of that. Oh, one at a time. We'll just send them up to Ankara and then we'll carpet siege again. We already have one army on one side of that, that fort, so we'll be okay. Defenders desert, are we going to get this soon? Yeah, we will. We're in the positive numbers of the siege there in Sinop. They won't be getting each other anytime soon. We'll have time to go and kill those Gazi guys. I can't call them anything else other than Gazi. That name is ridiculous. Gazi Mukuk Kuk. Gazi Mukuk. Gazi. We're going to stick with that. And the Gazi troops are Gazi guys. Easy peasy. Now I wonder where those Turkish troops are. Are they still on vacation in Golden Horde? Alright, perfect. We got Sinop. That boosted our war score quite a bit. Now for the capital. Let's do some carpet sieging. Get boiler back. Send it off to Kutaya. And we'll send this guy, because he actually is full maintenance, over there. Man, Ottoman separatists. Manpower is going to be low again after this war. All the attrition, fighting rebels. Mostly fighting rebels, but also fight also the attrition. Because we had to leave 
big stacks and forts. It's a problem when you're fearing the enemy and you can't split up your armies. Okay, let's tech up here. Perfect. What's this? Dip rep plus two. That's important. Let's grab that. That would have saved us from the, the Mamluks dishonoring our alliance. Not dishonoring, but breaking our alliance. Okay, knights. You got Suglan, you're still... No. Stick with your piratey ways. Okay. Got that province as well. Casamono. Okay. Slowly getting provinces under our banner. Slowly seeing that war score rise. The guys are running. I wonder if we can catch them in time. Surrender there. Send this Karakonya. There, Karaman. And what's this? Where. Where the rebels? Oh, Ragusa's killing them for us. Perfect. Thank you, Ragusa. Fine chaps they are. But we use them for our purposes, even though that was completely accidental. Okay, we got Hamid. I really wonder where their army went. Alright, minus 21. We're getting there. Coming up soon. Now, yeah, let Gazi run. They go all the way right back to their home. Or they're gonna go to Crimea. One, the two. And we'll focus on occupying all this land. We're going to deny the Ottomans the opportunity to build any more troops. And we're going to keep an eye and see if they pop up anywhere. Because, I don't know, from what I saw the last time, they were running. Running so fast you could see the dust. Just kicking up way above their heads behind them. Gazimuku just like is doing some weird stuff here. Prestige. Okay, we'll just take the prestige hit. Not doing the big battles right now. We're doing the prestige. Oh, the vile pirates of the knights. Again. Again. Alright. Honestly, guys, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine here. We've gotten quite a few provinces. Once we get Ankara, 
I think we'll have enough horse score to peace out and get a decent deal. Just get everybody a little bit. Uh, let's get over there. Okay. Got that. We're going to have Karaman soon. Kangiri soon. That's it. Ottomans are just in Constantinople, so we're going to get everybody over together, then cross over and kill them all there. And of course, Ottoman rebels. That's a lot of rebels. And we don't have a lot of troops. So I think it's going to be time to peace out. We're not actually going to go and fight those... those Ottomans in Constantinople. So what I'm going to do instead is probably end the, end, of, end the episode here and go talk to my advisors and see what we can negotiate. We're likely going to try to get the coast or maybe even the northern coast. But we'll see. We'll see what, what happens. But thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and to subscribe and come check out the peace deal in the next episode. This has been a great episode with lots of war and I love it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching again. Have a good one. Constantina was very happy with the results of the war. Unfortunately, Sugla was in the hands of the enemy, but much more was in the hands of Byzantium. She would discuss the peace deal with her advisors in the morning, but it seemed like Byzantium would be growing once again.